James Franco is in big trouble, and some celebrities are talking about their weird experiences with him. If you didn't know, James Franco has been exposed by numerous females, saying that he has an alleged predatory vibe. Ouch. That's not something you want said about you, especially if it can ruin your career. Despite having tons of A-list movies in his portfolio, the past few years have not been that good to James Franco, as it seems like every year, there are more details about his weird vibes. In 2014, a Scottish teenager who was 17 came out and said that the actor said some pretty raunchy things to her despite her age. Since then, he has been involved in at least three different accusations from females. James Franco recently agreed to a $2 million settlement in court, which will be shared between the named accusers. Although Hollywood may never take James Franco back, some celebrities have said they don't want to ever work with him again. So let's get into how celebrities warned us about James Franco. The first person on our list is Seth Rogen. The popular actor used to be good friends with James Franco as they starred in a few hit movies together. Well, after James was accused by tons of females for his bad behavior, Seth Rogen said he will be distancing himself from Franco. Rogen revealed that their personal relationship had been affected by those accusations, and they have no current plans to work together again. Here's his exact words. What I can say is that I despise a and harassment, and I would never cover or conceal the actions of someone doing it, or knowingly put someone in a situation where they were around someone like that. So it's safe to say that Seth Rogen is no longer friends with James Franco anymore. Next up, we have a famous actress who actually exposed James Franco after his 2018 Golden Globes win. James won the award for Best Actor for Musical or Comedies back in 2018, and Ali Sheedy, the popular actress, had a lot to say about it. She took to Twitter to warn fans about his weird vibes. Here's what she had to say. James Franco just won. Please never ask me why I left the film TV business. She later took down the series of tweets about James Franco as she didn't want to involve herself in any drama. But it's obvious she was disappointed that people were still supporting James Franco. At that time, there weren't too many details about James Franco's weird habits, so this was like the actress was warning people that he is not a good person. I mean, a fellow Hollywood star would know that James Franco has bad vibes because she had worked closely with him in the same industry. Ali Sheedy also uh, had a tweet. She since took it down. Uh, I heard you mention last night on on Stephen Colbert's show that yes, I had a great I had a great relationship with her. Uh, are not accurate. The next celebrity that had exposed James Franco for his wrongdoings is Busy Phillips. These two were filming a show back in 1999 called Freaks and Geeks, and she came out and said Franco was an effing bully on set and shoved her to the ground. In an excerpt from Phillips' upcoming memoir, this will only hurt a little. Phillips recalls being instructed to lightly hit Franco in the chest for a scene on the show. Franco then broke character and attacked her, she alleges. He grabbed both my arms and screamed in my face, don't ever touch me again, Phillips writes in her book, and he threw me to the ground, flat on my back, wind knocked out of me. This is a little different from his past accusations, but I think it ties in with his bad behavior. I mean, he has a track record of allegedly mistreating women. Franco then stormed off, Phillips says, and apologized the next day after being ordered to by the director and producers. And, and the, what you describe is that James Franco uh, blew up at you once and mm -hmm. knocked you onto the ground mm -hmm. and... And, you know, it was painful for me and he apologized to me later. I mean, at the time I feel like he, t he truly like, how I describe it in the book, he just like was like, I'm sorry, that wasn't cool. And kind of got away with it a little bit, you right. know? James Franco and I really didn't get along. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were on Freaks and Geeks, we were 19 and we really, really disliked each other. It's well documented. He like shoved me to the ground once. <laughs> wow. It was like really brutal. This isn't the first time Phillips has spoken about Franco's alleged behavior. During her 2016 appearance on Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens Live, she said the two really, really disliked each other and elaborated on his behavior. He felt like he wanted his character to be one way. He had had a discussion with the producers that he came from an abused family or something, and so he didn't want his girlfriend, I played his girlfriend, to ever hit him. I never knew this conversation existed, and in improv, I smacked him on the thing, and he was like, don't ever touch me, and grabbed me and shoved me to the ground. It was an overreaction by a 19-year-old dude, and it was weird and people's agents had to be called, and he had to apologize to me. So although females have only come out about his weird vibe since 2014, Busy Phillips actually warned us about James Franco way before that. So what does James Franco think about these accusations and all of the celebrities he was once friends with exposing him? James went on The Late Night Show after winning his Best Actor Award back in 2018, and he said this, there are some things on Twitter 
I haven't read them. I heard about them. He then went on to say that he has no idea what he did to some of these celebrities. He has total respect for them. He went on to say, I pride myself on taking responsibility for what I've done. The things I heard are not accurate, but I completely support people coming out because they didn't have a voice for so long. Uh, you were wearing a Time's Up button, like a lot of guys at the show, and some women during uh, your time on stage uh, said that was hypocritical. They went to Twitter and said that was hypocritical based on their experiences that they've had with you. They made some allegations. I wonder if you have read those tweets, and if so, how you respond to them. Uh, yes, I, uh, I was sent a couple of the tweets, so yeah, I did read them. Um, I haven't uh, responded. Um, I think, um, well, the ones I read were not accurate. Um, like I said, you know, um, there are stories that need to get out. There are um, people that need to be heard. Um, I have my own side of, of this story, but um, I believe in, you know, these people that have been underrepresented, getting their stories out enough that I will, you know, hold back um, things that I could say just because I believe in it that much. And if I... So a few years back, James Franco was actually denying the accusations about him but he is now settled in court for $2.2 million. He continued by saying on The Late Night Show that he doesn't want to shut these females down and wants them to continue speaking about men being weird like that, and he supports it. I don't think his response was very genuine, but with that being said, each party has their own side of the story when it comes to these situations. We hope that James Franco has learned from his past alleged mistakes and continues to grow and better himself. We all know he's a great actor, with a ton of potential. But do you guys think this will stop his career in Hollywood? He's a good actor. He's gonna portray, and if he acts like he has nothing to hide, he really does believe that that people will believe it. And it's hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. I want the world to know um, the truth. In the tweet, Violet accused Franco of forcing her to perform a sex act in her car. Looking back, do you feel like you, you couldn't say no? Um, no, I could have said no, but because of the power dynamic, the situation was so surreal and I wanted him to like me. He's definitely got two personalities um, and that doesn't mean he doesn't have a great sweet side, but when he has his other side, it's the complete polar opposite. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this situation with James Franco. Do you guys believe that he has mistreated people in the past? But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more. See you tomorrow.